The Decatur City Council is moving forward with a plan to replace street signs in a main corridor downtown, but not everyone on the council is happy with spending nearly $50,000 to do that. News 19's Emily Mosner has the story. Good evening. Well, I'm here on 2nd Avenue in downtown Decatur. Now, take a good look at this sign here behind me. You can see it looks pretty good, almost new in fact, but it won't be here for very long. That's because earlier this week, the Decatur City Council approved a project to replace this and other signs along 2nd Avenue with new LED signs. We're just like every regular old city that has regular old street signs. Um, so you want to, you know, always want to try to improve. City Council President Jacob Ladner says replacing street signs on 2nd Avenue with modern LED signs is a good way to elevate the look of downtown. It's just really just a no brainer for us. The city council approved an estimate from a local company for $48,199 for the signs at its meeting on Monday. However, not every member of the council was on board with the price tag. There's many of the projects going on throughout the city right now that that money could have went towards uh, instead of these street signs. Council member Hunter Pepper voted against the project. He says he's all about beautification, but if it isn't broken, don't fix it. There's a couple of them hanging up right above us here, and they're in great condition. They're in great shape. You know, some of them are, are relatively new. The things that we normally do on a regular basis have a large benefit to the citizens of our city. In my personal opinion, illuminated street sign is not one of those benefits. However, Ladner disagrees. There are already, you know, signs those intersections. Yeah. Could this money have been, you know, spent somewhere else? Yeah, that's kind of like saying there's, uh, there's already plants here. Should we put nicer new ones? The answer is typically yes, right? So uh, anytime we can make something better, um, just because there's something there that works doesn't mean uh, we shouldn't try to make it better. Ladner doubled down saying the council actually plans on installing this type of sign all throughout the city when the funding is available. We will eventually do 6th Avenue. We looked at 4th as well, Bank Street as well, and then all the way across the city when you look at major intersections, even all the way you know over to the, towards the Beltline. The council president says the funding for the project is due to extra revenue. He said he would have been happy to discuss other uses for the funding, but none had been proposed. Council member Pepper told me he had plans to propose a paving project, but he had it removed from the agenda because he did not believe he would have enough votes. Council President Jacob Ladner says the new signs will take about 12 weeks to make and then about a week to install. So again, take a good look at these signs because they will not be here very much longer. Reporting indicator tonight, Emily Moser, News 19.